All right. Hey, it is season four, everybody. Four. Oh, yeah. Season four. Season four. Four. It's an R at the end. Season four of Thriving Thursday. <laughs> my name is Stephen Hayes. This is my wife. Lauren. And we are S and L. And you're watching Thriving, Thriving Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Kind of sometimes can happen, like um, as far as in the counseling world. Um, it could be something that's not even meant to be bad. You might, oh, this client is crying, so you want to hug them. But you don't ask to hug them and you just hug them. That could cross a boundary because they might be someone whose boundaries have already been violated if they are like um, a victim or something of, you know, abuse or some sort. So like touching, you know, can definitely trigger them or whatever. So you just have to be like mindful of that. And even if you're not in a counseling se um, setting anyways, it could be the same thing for just someone. You don't know people's stories. You don't know, um, you know, that could be really hard for someone, and tr you know, trigger them. So I think we covered work. Yeah, go work. I, I tried to mention like school. I mean, in a school setting, when you're talking yeah. about boundaries, again, a lot of those boundaries we talked about at work, they, they transfer over. A lot of schools, uh, now they do by state, um, state regulation, they do actually have a, um, a sexual harassment um, and equal opportunity reps, uh, yeah. representatives that, uh, that work at the campus. Um, mm. And usually you'll find them. They have all, in, all kinds of groups yes. kind of help for rights and stuff, so. Yeah. So, and then they usually have like some kind of emergency number on campus that's posted uh, around uh, the campus in case of uh, issues. Campus police is usually also posted around. That's also someone you can report these issues to. Um, and so you wanna make, like I said, we're just trying to make sure that you're keeping yourself safe, you're protecting yourself. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we have boundaries, the reason why they're so important to have healthy boundaries and that's to keep you, uh, keep you safe and protected. So those are kind of like, you know, physical and I guess mental boundaries well, i talked we talked a little bit we talked a little bit i talked at the beginning about um kids um there is a, like a series of books on boundaries by dr henry cloud and dr john townsend um it's like boundaries with kids boundaries in marriage and just a boundaries book which i thought was really good um so that's a good resource but um what would you say um is another what about boundaries in um relationships like not dating just like friendships right yes. or someone you, people you know what do you think about that like what's your take on that how do you yeah i mean know? so one of the things like i have a boundary um, with my friends and um i've been fortunate because i, I don't try to have for me, it's not it's not about numbers of friends that I have. I'm not trying to have like the biggest number of friends or the most friends possible. I'm okay with just a few good friends. And so quality that, that, over quantity. Right? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> yeah. what I always tell my wife. You know, I tell my kids that too. It's like it's it's the quality of the friend more than yeah. the quantity. I don't need a bunch of friends. I just need a few good ones I can count on. <laughs> um, and so with that, because you know I'm looking at uh, a few good friends. Boundaries is how I was able to taper. Or, or should I say, um, how I was able to to get down to a few good friends. Um, there could be some friendly acquaintances, people that I know that I can be friendly with, um, but only the few quality friends that I have, you know, know some of my most intimate moments or, or, or things that that um, that affect me the most because I'm able to talk to them, open up with them about that. And because we've set boundaries, I'm able to do that. I'm able to have that trust with them. Now, if there's something that happens, um, they say something or they, they pass on information that I shared with them that I thought was, you know, between us, now they've crossed the boundary. And so now, first of all, I'm going to address it 
because that's the kind of person I am. That's I'm true. going to say something to them about it and let them know, hey, look, I'm disappointed because I said that to you in confidence that it was between us. I didn't know you were going to take that outside the, you know, our friendship and, and tell anybody else. But, you know, if you're going to do that, then, you know. Is it mendable? It, it can be mendable, mendable, yes. Yeah, you can earn, yeah, to, to earn my trust back, yes. I think that is, I think it is mendable. And I, I think that the, the few quality friends that I have, um, we've had issues like that. Um, where I, I've done it, or uh, and and they've also done it as well, um, violated a boundary, and and sometimes like like Lauren was saying earlier, sometimes you're learning, you know, you yeah. you don't realize that you have this boundary until it's crossed. It's like, oh, you know what, that 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 really hurt me, um, or that really made me feel uneasy when you do that, or that really ticked me off. Like I'm I'm hot about what just happened. You know, you find out yeah. about these boundaries, and so at that point, you can choose to, you know, when you cross someone else's boundary. You can choose to try to make it right. You know, number one, apologize. It's it's, yeah. it's not hard. It's it's very simple, it's but simple, a heartfelt but apology. It's simple. It can be hard. I think for yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, as I said, that's why that I said it's simple. Your, but yeah, you admit that you made a mistake and you know take ownership of that. So. Yeah, or in in, in in the event that you didn't know that was a boundary, they didn't know it was a boundary yeah. until you cross it. Is, um, you know, hey, I I didn't realize that that affected you that way. You know, I'm sorry that you know, uh, you know. I hurt you or I'm sorry that um, that you know I made you angry I wasn't trying to I was you know just trying to tell a joke you know I yeah. won't joke like that with you again you know that, it, that it's that easy yeah. you know you learn from the mistake it's like okay hey I value this relationship more than you know me telling this joke so I just won't I won't joke with you like yeah. that it's not a problem you know so stuff like that um, what else can I think of why do you think um, it's so important to have boundaries with your with your friends not just for things they're saying but just boundaries in general okay um not just for things they're saying um i would say it, it is protection um uh, as well uh disclosing too much personal information um and then you know if if you if the person violates your trust um sharing that information that was the example i gave before sharing the information um, I would also say that um, with with uh, boundaries with your friends, it's important to have because it allows you to open up that 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 highway of trust with each other. Right. If you know you're going to say something in confidence, and they they're going to respect that boundary, yeah. you're able to. But also, and it gives you someone to talk to yeah. outside of you know, say a professional counselor or your spouse or significant other. It, it gives you someone to talk to, someone to grow with and, and, and go through life with. Maybe also another reason it's um, for me in the past. I don't know if you've had a lot of experience with this, but I know I have. I'm being taken advantage of because I, you know, some of it is people just being messy, and some of it is because I didn't set up boundaries. Um, because you know, sometimes I know, like as Christian, you're like I, this was a big thing for me. It's like, oh, you're taught to like just um, to give, and you know, give and serve and do all you can for others, which is true. But there's also you know boundaries for that. Like, I just made some pretty dumb mistakes. I'll just say a few mistakes. I've given people money before just because they asked for it. You don't have to do that. This was when I was younger, and like my first real job. Like, you know, giving someone, and it was stupid, but hundreds of dollars just because they asked for it and they say they'll pay you back. You know, you don't, you can say no. You can say no to that. Which, yeah. And, you know, of course they didn't pay back. And then it's like, you know, well, that was dumb. That was a, it was a expensive lesson. <laughs> but it was learned to not just, you know, do that because, you know, just because, it, you know, oh, I'm friends with this person. So, you know, I have to say yes, because otherwise, you know, they might not think I like them or think we're friends. Like maybe, I don't know if it's being a woman or just my personality that I would think, oh, I don't want them to think that I don't care about them. You know, all this stuff. You know, sometimes it could still be a struggle, but I'm not, you know, just handing out money. But, yeah. um, and then also I think for just the sake of being like kind of taken advantage of, um, one particular situation, you know, I said I could help someone with, with rides because I didn't want them driving drunk. And then they proceeded to call me for the next. I think it was like three days in a row. And at two o'clock in the morning, I was driving to go get them. 
And then I was like, this is ridiculous. Like you're on purpose going out and drinking and then say, oh, call Lauren. Cause you know, she said she'll come pick me up. And I was like, but you, like, I don't want you to drive drunk, but don't purposely go do that. Like get a taxi or you have a DD when you go out. Like, I'm not going to keep doing this. A DD is a designated driver, I just in case y'all didn't know who the doesn't acronym. doesn't know that? Younger okay. people in our audience. I thought that was still a thing. Anyway, but um, I think for, you know, I had to put that boundary up because just, you know, I was not getting to sleep, <laughs> taking care of myself. And, you know, it was just, it was like a, you know, a one side relationship too. And I think in friendships, you know, it's kind of normal. Sometimes you might be going through something more. So, um, you might need a little bit more. So your friend's giving more at that time, but then there's a time when they're going through something, you're giving a little bit more, but it's reciprocal yeah. and it's not, um, I feel like it's not expected. A healthy relationship shouldn't be completely one-sided. Yeah. One's always giving the other, and the other one's always yeah. taking. The idea it's is a, that at some point you're both giving, and at some point you're both receiving, because that's that's a relationship. And if, especially if you have you know multiple relationships with people that are all needing stuff, there has to be a point like. Um, like I would love to help because some of the, it could be a good thing. Like, you know, you have five people that are volunteering. I don't know. This is I'm trying to think of an example at different things and they all want you to come, but you don't have enough time to, you have to say, okay, you know what? I would love to help you all, but I have to, I can only do like two things today because I need time with my kids or something. So you set that boundary or, yeah. but just times like that, I think also, um, so I guess that's a financial bound. So financial boundary, physical boundary you talked about. Yeah. Emotional boundary. Oh, emotional is one. Do we yeah, talk about emotional. that? Emotional. Kind of, yeah. I guess. Well, it kind of tied the emotional with the mental. Um, yeah. And what I was going to say with the, so with that kind of boundary, one of the things that I think about is my why, the reason why I have that boundary, and that is self-care. That is self protection. So emotional boundaries. Yes, I you know emotional even and I, like I said I, I kind of coupled the mental with the emotional because some of my issues are kind of dual related. Um, but it, it's important to have that that emotional mental boundary because uh, what it allows me to do is when I need time to myself because I you know I can be an introvert. When I need time to recharge. Um, I can get that time. I can you know yeah. I need to retreat to so a quiet place and do that. When I need time to meditate, time to pray. Um, when I need time to relax, uh, heck, time to sleep, you know, there, there's mm -hmm. a lot of different things. Sometimes I need time for recreation. So, and so it's like, hey, I need to, I, I got this, I got this urge in me to go for a drive. Can, you know, hey, is it okay if I just go for a drive um, about 30 minutes? And then, you know, and Lauren's like, yeah, yeah, I got the kids, go ahead. And then I take off and it just, it allows me to, to clear my head. Sometimes I'm listening to music. Sometimes I'm just listening to the sound of the engine and the exhaust, and I'm just <laughs> and I just drive. And I it, I have no destination in mind, but it's it's freeing my mind. Like it's it's allowing yeah. me to focus on one thing, and that's drive. And sometimes I'm processing stuff, and sometimes it's just me and God out on the road. You took that a different way than I was thinking, but oh, it was okay. good. It was a good. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying that that's yeah. that's how I that's that's the reason one of the reasons why I have that why it's yeah. it's to protect myself. And the reason why I say that is because when I get to the phase of burnout, and I've, I've done mm. that several times, especially in my career in the army, yeah. that the those that that um not healthy those that that do good work. Um, this is not bragging, but those that do good work tend to get the most work. Uh, and so I had a lot put yeah. on my plate. If they see you're I, I didn't responsible have... in doing it, they give you more because they're like, this yeah. guy's not doing it, but we know Hayes will do it. Yeah, right? he'll get it done. <laughs> um, and and Which, so yeah, I, I wound up taking on a lot of different, I was, putting, I was wearing a lot of different hats, taking on a lot of different roles that weren't specific to my job. Um, yeah. And I was having a hard time with my boundary, having a healthy boundary at the same time saying no. Um, because not everything that uh, was being put on my plate was illegal, unethical, or immoral. It was just m a lot more work than I had time for in a day. And so yeah. um, I found myself being stretched really thin. And I had to um, finally uh, finally realize that I had been missing the warning signs that my boundaries were being violated. Yeah. And I finally started speaking up to my supervisor and letting them know, hey... Um,